Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. A man that is up to date with God is a man that is, knows the announcements of God for each season. The announcements of God. So let me show you some announcements. Um, can we do uh, Luke chapter 2 from verse 8 to 11? Just give you a prototype of an announcement. Because God is committed to announcing his intentions. Littered across scripture, you will find announcement after announcement. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy will shall be to all people. Unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. <laughs> That's what? A town crier. If God gives us time today, then I will explain what prophecy is. Because there are two, town, two categories of town criers that God has. The first are angelic. These are the, you can see the activity here. And what this angel is doing here is making what? Announcement. Many times we will never know what God is doing, not know the page that God is on until announcements are made. Because of that, God is committed to making announcements. So if you are someone that studies the move of God, you must be in custody of the announcements of God. I see a lot of us pray, but you, are, you don't know the announcement. You don't know the announcement. But there's a lot of prayer going on. I need to teach you how to structure your heart so that if there are announcements, you'll be able to pick it up. Because one of the things in the layer of God that makes you or places you in the position of advantage is that you heard the announcement from heaven. So you know what heaven is doing. And because of that, it is easy for you to align yourself and angulate yourself to receive grace to become a partaker of that which God wants to do. But if you have no idea about what God is doing, you are going to be outside of the economy of his administration. And unfortunately, many churches, many pastors, many believers for many years have gotten so used to being outside of what God is doing. So used to it. We have, we have, administrative systems that are built to accommodate us apart from God. So maybe when a year starts, we say this is our year of, um, help me now, help me, year of what? I can't hear you. A year of turnaround. <laughs> if I take that turnaround stuff and we go to the Bible, you will find out that's just from Bible study, not checking it in the spiritual. Bible study, you will find out that's not what God is saying. So many people have not traveled close to God enough to be able to pick the frequency of his thoughts. We have gotten so used to living outside of his pavilion. Oh my. When you begin to navigate in God, um, the Lord will begin to make announcements. That's his nature. That's how our God is. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.